Hello, Sysphere here again. Uh, welcome back to the Ultimate Command series. Uh, first off, you may be wondering why it's taking so long for the next episode. Well, a couple of bits. Um, the information in this episode is quite heavy. There's a lot to it, so I wanted to make sure I got it right. So do pay attention, get yourself a drink, rewind, watch again, whatever you want to do. And secondly, the PC I use to make these, well, it's developed a problem, and shortly after I make this video and upload it, I will be ripping all the insides out, sending them back to the company I got them from so they can be tested and fixed. But let's get on with today's episode. Okay, so this episode we're looking at the target selector argument. Now, if you remember from last episode, these were the target selector variables. Well, the arguments come after the variables and they come in these little square brackets here. The first set we're going to look at is X, Y, Z and R. The reason that they're grouped together is because they're so common that they actually even have a shortened version, which I'll show you in a second. So if we open up here, we have a standard teleport command, which is targeting um, all players, which is just that one there. It's targeting these coordinates in the world, x equals minus 16, y equals 57, and z equals minus 81. And also a radius of 1. Uh, that's 1 meter block, but the radius is actually circular, just doesn't really look like it. Ignore that, that's just a recipe TP command. So if we pull up the F3 screen, and if you remember from before, over on the left here where it says block, but sort of further the way down the screen, that is a block in the world. So the command over here is targeting just where this little guy is standing right here. And radius of 1 means it's going to target him, but it will also get this guy and anybody in the yellow ones. It will technically get people on the edges there as well, but not there, because as it says, it is a circular radius. It just kind of doesn't look like it at this scale. It's a little bit odd, so it's one to play with. Also, I'm showing this only on a two-dimensional plane. I'll get off the screen first, but it is a spherical selector. So if I had it going out to here, so that's one, two, three blocks out in that direction, it would also go three up and three down. There we go. Now, I said it was a shortened version of it. This makes things a little bit easier. If it's the first four things you put in, you don't have to have the x equals, y equals, z equals, or r equals. You can just put the numbers like that. So that saves you a bit of typing. Now, if you bother to read the wiki, you will believe you can do this. So x equals tilde or tilde, whichever you want to call it. Uh, so tilde minus 4, tilde 1, tilde 1, which is relative coordinates. So it'd be relative of here. It would go, I want to target a point relative there. Well, the wiki says it works. Quite frankly, I've never got it to work. And actually, if you go and check the Minecraft bug tracker, you will find that somebody did report this as a bug and it was reported back saying it's not a bug. Uh, it would be a feature request, which has not been implemented, which is a little bit sad because that would be very, very useful. So it can't do that, but the wiki does claim it can. So we'll move on from those ones. The next one is related to radius. This is a radius minimum. So if we're that one, we'll select up to a maximum and everything inside it. This is the opposite. So here I have a radius minimum of two. So everybody in this area won't get selected. Everybody beyond the two block radius will. Now you notice this one's sort of square and that's more sort of roundy diamond. For some reason, the radius of the radius one and the radius minimum seem to be slightly different shaped, uh, which is a little confusing. They may be the same shape, it's just the way they work makes them look different. So as I said, the radius ones, ones to play with. And yet again, they are spherical as well. So they will do up and down. Our next little friend here is M. So that's just your M equals. And your first one, you've got m equals minus 1, which is all game modes. All the game modes are the standard ones you probably know. So you've got your m equals 0, which is your survival mode. So if you have game mode 0, that's the one you're in. m equals 1 is your creative mode, so that will get everybody who is in creative. m equals 2, adventure mode. Everybody in adventure mode is making sense so far. 
Uh, the next one, which is coming in 1.8, uh, and to be honest, 1.8 is probably literally out next week. Um, possibly the week after, depends how quickly we are on pre-release too. You also now get mode free, which is all spectators. So the people just basically watching what you're up to. So I hope that's making sense so far. It says there are a few more, but feel free to sort of pause and rewind because there is a lot in this. Our next up is C, which is basically closest. Your standard command, if you have a look in here, like your at p, that takes the closest one. Effectively, that's part of the command, it just doesn't exist. So if you had closest equals one, it would take our little friend here. Try and ignore that these exist, because yet again, this is a spherical selector command. So we'll pretend they're in a different world, just for the sakes of these. So get the closest one, but it'll ignore all the other ones. We have one here that is closest equals two. So as you probably guessed, first two takes both of them, doesn't bother with the rest. And you can keep going, so closest equals five, we've got the first five, number six doesn't come in. You notice the last one is a little different though, and that's because you can put minus numbers. So in this case, closest equals minus two will take the two furthest of whatever it's targeting. So in this case, players. So all these ones here, nope, the two furthest, yes. If there happens to be a situation where the ones you're selecting are exactly the same distance where the command is run, which to be honest is immensely rare, but if it does happen, it will select the oldest first. So if you had, say, two players equidistant from the command and you wanted one of them, it will take the one who's been there longest. So if somebody's been on the server for an hour and another one's been on half an hour, the one who's an hour will be there as the selected one. Same goes for mobs. Ones that have existed longer will get selected first if it's an equal distance. But that rarely ever happens to being an equal distance. Because if I'm here, or I'm here, that's a different distance. So you can see the selectors um, so far are quite good at locking stuff down to what you want, but there's a lot more to specify things very, very tightly now. So the next little ones we're looking at here is L and LM. If I just pop back into survival mode, you'll see along the bottom of the screen there, I am level three. If you don't know about XP bars by now, I'm a little surprised, but there it is. That L is targeting in regards to what level you are. So here I have L equals nine. Just ignore the fact that the rest of the command's not there. I've just put the bits in as an example. So what that is doing is it will target everybody up to a maximum level of nine. So somebody who had level five, six, seven, eight, and nine, everyone would be targeted, but the level 10 person, he's too high, wouldn't be targeted by the command. And you may have guessed LM is the opposite. I have LM equals eight in this one. So a minimum level that is, level minimum, eight and above, targeted, beneath eight, don't get targeted at all. And if you were to combine both of them in a command, such as like that, you can swap the order if you want, it doesn't have to be L and then LM. You can have LM and then L if you really insist, it doesn't matter. If you combine the two of them, I'm saying I want a minimum level of eight and a maximum level of nine, I've targeted only the people with these two levels of experience. So if you were building, say, an adventure map and you wanted people only to go in certain areas if they were between certain levels, you could do that. Now, the next one is a little similar to how this looks. I'm not going to give the massive information on how scoreboards work, because that would be another episode, because there's a lot involved with scoreboards. I'm not covering them here. But this selector is in regards to scoreboard values. So it's score underscore name. That's a really weird score underscore. Um, if you have a look, I've actually got score underscore some objective. Because the part that is the name is actually the name of the scoreboard objective. So in this case, I've called it some objective. And we're looking for three there. So in this case, you'll get the levels one, two, and three. You can see a bit of a pattern similar to that. This is the opposite, the minimum. So score underscore some objective underscore min equals three. So that's three and above. And you probably guessed in here, we've got both of them, both saying a maximum and minimum of three. So we'll only have people who have a scoreboard 
of some objectives equals three. So useful little thing so far. A few more to go. Feel free to take a break right now if you want. Oh wait. You're back? Okay, excellent. Team. So if you've got little matches for your people on teams, you'll be wanting to use this one. So again, it's a equals job. So in this one, I have a team equals blue. So I've named a bunch of teams. In this case, this is a blue team. There we go. This little guy here is not on a team. He's also not wearing any clothes. And we have the yellow team over here. As it is targeting team equals blue, everybody in the blue team, which are these guys here, get selected. Everybody not on the blue team, which is the guy on no team, and the yellow team don't. If we do the opposite, which is an exclamation mark, and then the team, so there we go, that means not on blue. So the blue team is ignored, the guy on no team is selected, and the yellow team are selected. A couple of final variations on this one. Team equals, so you don't put any team whatsoever, so that's team equals no team. Blue team is not selected, yellow team is not selected, but the guy who has no team whatsoever is suddenly very popular as he's selected. And uh, you probably guessed there is an opposite version, which is just team equals exclamation. So that's actually not nothing. A little confusing sometimes. So they're on teams, they're selected. Poor little guy, no teams left out again. And the yellow team are selected. So all teams would be selected no matter how many we had. So that is your team selector. Only a couple left on this one. We have name equals. So we have name equals Steve in this particular case. And name doesn't equal. Well, equals not Steve. Similar again. This is Steve. He is selected by the equals Steve command. Martin, however, and Ralph are not selected. The opposite one doesn't want Steve. So Steve's a bit left out on this one. But Martin and Ralph, they can both come to the party on this one. Lovely. Now, these are new ones coming in 1.8. I uh, don't think that was a 1.8 one. I think that one already existed. We've got DX, DY, and DZ, which all tend to go together. And that is a distance X, distance Y, distance Z. So we're going to have a look at command that is set up inside here. So again, I just have a teleport command, and that is targeting all players. We've got here, that is our shortened X, Y, and Z at the beginning, so we've not got equals. And that first part is targeting this block right here. Now, the next parts, the DX, we've got equals to, DY equals to, and DZ equals to, that's what selects this cubic area. Now, they always have to be positive. So we've got this corner, Positive Z, if you look in the middle of my screen, is that direction. Positive X is that direction. And positive Y is up there. It just doesn't look like it. And so that to this way, to that way, and to that way, then selects this cubic region. And everything that's inside there will be targeted. If you want, you can also combine that with radius from a point. So you could have. Basically, like, say, taking an orange and removing some segments, so you just had like a corner of it. You could do that. Probably have to slice the segments in half as well, but you know what I mean. At least I hope you do. Right, last few. We've got Rx and Rxm. Uh, that's rotation x maximum and rotation x minimum. Now, the X, if you try and think of it this way, this is the X. There's a pole running through there. If you were to be attached on a pole, you could swing up and you could swing down. Really doesn't actually matter which way. But that gives you these degrees. So straight up is 90 degrees, or 90.0. Straight ahead is not point not, and straight down is minus 90 point not. 
look at the screen again, just in the middle of my screen, if I look up, I've Okay, I've got them back to front. Ignore me, that should be minus 90. I believe that was 90. Um, let me just fix that. Quick cut and back. Okay, let's try that again. So straight up is minus 90.0. So if we look up, there we go. Minus 90.0, just above the sun. And down whoop, is 90.0. So that would target people who are looking in a specific up or down direction. So in this case, I've got Rx equals 45 and Rx minimum equals minus 45. So it's going to get everybody who are looking between about there and about there. So anybody beyond those in either direction wouldn't get targeted. So that's uh, coming in 1.8, little new one. So uh, you could probably have that on a map where you had somebody that's like, you know, don't look up. So they have to sort of walk like that. If they do look up, you cash them out. Of course, being a vertical version, there is also a horizontal version, which is RY and RYM. So again, the Y is a pole here, and it's just you rotating around it. That's how you have to think of it. And here I have an RY equals 135.0, and an RY minimum minus 90.0. So that goes from over here, which actually goes up to 180, it just isn't doing it, which is negative Z. And that rotates round, and you'll see I'm dropping down to 90. Get around here is zero, then it goes into minus, minus 90. And around here actually goes to minus 179.9. Um, it doesn't go to 180, because 180 is from the other one. So in the case of this one, anybody between minus 90 and 135 means if these were little players, or even mobs, the ones facing this way, round to that way, are all selected. But these two guys who are facing in these directions are not. So I hope that also made a little bit of sense. Final little thing, um, as you can see, quite a lot of things, feel free to rewind is type, that's type equals, and type equals not something. In this case, we have type equals creeper. Make sure you've got a capital on creeper. If you were to do creeper with a small c, it wouldn't notice it. So there is specific identities of various entities. Do check the wiki for those. So this one is selecting all type that equals creeper. So our zombie friend here, not interested because he is a type of zombie. Creeper here obviously is a type creeper, so he would be selected. Type skeleton, not selected obviously. And even here, a minecart rideable, that's an entity, that's also not selected as it's not a creeper. The not type, exact opposite, will have zombie because he's not a creeper. Creeper is a creeper, feeling a little sad now. Skeleton is not a creeper, seems a little indifferent about it. A minecart rideable is also not a creeper, so they would all get selected. There you go. So, all these ones running along here, which I'm actually going to now put this map in the description so you can have a look through them. These are all the target selector arguments. Um, I hope you found that useful. As I said, rewind, watch previous episodes, etc. If you don't totally get these, they will be getting used in the commands in future episodes. So you'll have little visual examples of how they work. So I hope you found that useful. And as for usual, thanks for watching and bye bye. And off we get. And there it goes. That's just a visual glitch. And you know I'm down there just from recording. Right, so let's uh, head out now.